New at 630, officials at Pitt and Penn State are warning that the failure of the legislature to approve funding for them could mean higher tuition for PA students this fall. In an exclusive interview, political editor John Delano asked the state Senate Republican Majority Leader why the delay in approving these dollars. While it's not part of the budget stalemate, so far the legislature has been unable to approve millions of dollars that the University of Pittsburgh, Penn State, and Temple University count on in order to offer its in-state students lower tuition rates. These universities are telling us is going to mean a tuition hike for in-state students this coming fall. What's your reaction to that? But we have to figure out a better way to communicate with the state-related institutions on our expectations of what it means to be publicly subsidized. In a sit-down interview in his Indiana PA office, Senate Republican Majority Leader Joe Pittman, himself a Penn State graduate, says his colleagues are worried about what's happening on campus. Whenever we're giving them public dollars, that there's an expectation that those dollars are used for the basic instructional motivation of making sure that those institutions, to your point, keep tuition down, provide a clear education that does not have a, a political undertone to it. Governor Shapiro and the Democrats want to increase state aid to these three schools by 7 percent to $623 million. But that requires a two-thirds vote in both houses, which means substantial Republican support is needed. Pittman says with dropping enrollment, universities need to reduce their budgets. Whenever you have fewer students paying less tuition, you have to make budgetary decisions that are difficult. And we've seen some of that through the state system. I'm not entirely sure we've seen that through the state related. Pittman says it's not unusual for this state money to be allocated later in the fiscal year. So he's not too concerned about threats of tuition hikes. It's not unusual for them to not be passed by July 1st. In fact, there is some history over the recent years where non-preferreds went in well into January and February before they were actually passed and signed into law. And I don't think we heard the type of rhetoric that we're hearing right now. Officials at both Penn State and Pitt say they are just being realistic that without state support, tuition will go up for in-state students. Pittman is optimistic it will all get worked out eventually. With neither House in Harrisburg in session to move quickly on resolving the state-related university subsidy issue, how high tuition will go this fall remains unresolved. In Indiana, PA, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.